This video is set up for familiarization on the use of the south masting crane for raising a mast on a boat. 600 pounds is the maximum weight capacity for the south masting crane. Remember, no booze and no drugs while operating the crane. Do not operate the masting crane at weight speeds over 30 kilometers an hour or 20 miles an hour. Three people are required at a very minimum and four or more are preferable. Avoid having anyone working under the mast as it is raised. In addition, when the mast is vertical and someone is working between the mast step and the base of the mast, be careful of fingers. These instructions assume that the mast is lined up horizontally on the boat with the base of the mast at the stern and the top of the mast at the bow. Ensure the boat is tied off to the four corners of the well. The boat must be positioned in the center of the well and the mast base must be aligned with the masting crane column. Now would be a good time as well to find the tools and fittings needed to secure the mast and the rigging. Three people should now board the boat, one at the bow, one at the mast step, and one at the stern. Turn the manual crank on the column of the masting crane until the hook at the end of the crane cable is down to the level of the mast on the boat. Put the yellow mast sling that hangs from the hook around the mast under the spreader. Ensure that the forestail or foil, backstay, port and starboard upper shrouds are not inside the mast sling. They must be free and outside the sling. With one person steadying the mast at the bow of the boat and one at the stern of the boat, raise the mast about a foot to test the balance point. The mast must be top light, bottom heavy when you lift it from under the spreader. If not, see the instructions for masting a double spreader masted boat. Two people must hold the mast at the base and walk the mast forward from the stern as it is raised. As the mast is raised, one person on board the boat must check for snags and release any stays, lines and so forth that get caught. The mast will be more or less vertical when the base of the mast is over the mast step. A third person is required to lay down at the base of the mast and attach any of the electrical connections or pivot pins so that the mast can be lowered onto the mast base. Be very careful of fingers being crushed between the mast and the mast step if the mast should drop and bounce.